Dory Project is an issue of the Board of the Aboriginal Legal Service New South Wales ACT to celebrate over 40 years of service. The project collects and preserves the stories of Aboriginal and non-Aboriginal people who have worked to provide that service. Together, the stories will form a record of the first Aboriginal legal service in Australia and its subsequent work. All interviews will be held securely in the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander data archive, creating a permanent source of knowledge for future generations. Look, we sincerely hope that this is going to provide a story of the legal service to all people out there and give them a better understanding of what we're on about. We do hope people will enjoy the story. We also hope that people will learn of the real struggles that we have had to encounter as Aboriginal people. It was about taking control. It was about us having enough of not having equality in our own country. And what further um, made that fire in the belly even, you know, burn to the extreme was what the, the harsh treatment that Aboriginal people were receiving, you know, at the hands of the police. You had uh, stories of the, the notorious 21 Division, long since gone, but a, a kind of a flying squad which would uh, habitually uh, take off their badges and uh, uh, engage in a wholesale assault on people in somewhere like the Empress Hotel in Regent Street, uh, Redfern. Oh, and the other person, of course, uh, uh, perhaps even more important than uh, Chico was Mum Cheryl. Oh, absolutely. Uh, yeah. She, the, the, the role she played in Redfern is uh, is almost hard to imagine. She was such an anchor. A self-taught general. Some solicitors could see what was happening within the court. Some, uh, you know, uh, people were getting just sent down for nothing. And we said, we don't care if we win the case or lose the case, it's that you go in there and you fight hard. I was always taught from growing up you get in, you do your work. Do what you have to do to keep the service going because the service is not for, it's for the people out there, for our, our people. And we want to give them the best we can. The Story Project will touch people and remind people of the significance that this service has played in our country's history. The stories will be told by the people who have been involved throughout the 40 years that the service is being delivered. They will be both Aboriginal and non-Aboriginal people who have worked together and they will be the ones that tell the story. Originally the story project came from the board meeting that we had down in Griffith. We all thought it was a very good idea to have a story of the hard work and sometimes difficult work from the beginning in 1970. And we need to have stories like this to provide an history of the dedication of our pioneer members, the people who have actually first started the uh, service. I don't think we should ever forget. Now we actually got the opportunity to actually tell our younger people and also not only our younger people, but the public in general tell the story from the beginning to where we actually are today. My hope for the story project is that it will tell of people's experiences and their journeys with the legal service. It will provide information to students. It will also tell an important part of a journey of justice for Aboriginal people.